And for the second game of the day, Greater Hartford Pro-Am All-Star Classic I-91 versus I-84. We're getting ready for the boys game. It should be some high power action. You know how the All-Star game go to begin with. You know, it might be some dunks, might be uh, some crossovers. But I'm here, Brandon Frame. I'm here with my co-host, Ronell Munts. Brandon, like you said, it's an All-Star game. It's going to be a lot of exciting play today. Tonight, it's going to be a lot of high flying, a lot of crossovers. I mean, a lot of ankle breaking. But overall, it's going to be a lot of good basketball today. I followed a lot of these players this year watching high school basketball. So we're in for a treat tonight, Brandon, definitely. I agree. I'm happy that you're here with us. Tune in. Access TV. Shout out to Evans for making this event possible. Tune in. Hi, my name is JC McCauley. I'm Naisha McCauley, and, and you're, you're watching, watching AccessTV.org. We're here, at Greater Hartford Pro Am. Uh, All-Star Classic, Major Roman here. How does it feel here to be here today and get ready to hoop in the All-Star game? You know, it's a great opportunity to get a group of high schoolers to, you know, um, show out and perform in front of a good crowd. When you, when you found out that you got selected, what, what kind of feeling did that bring to you? You know, it felt like an honor. Uh, you know, I'm honored to come out here and play with other great, um, great players from across the state. What are some of your plans you got after this? Um, next year I'll be attending Yale University on a football scholarship, so I'll be doing that. I'm awesome. a scholar athlete, and that's what this is all about. So thank you for taking time to be here, with, uh, be with us. Good luck in today's game. Maybe I'll see you at the end of the All-Star when they uh, give out the MVP. Yeah, thank you. All right. all right, and we're here early. It's the All-Star game. It's the boys action. We're looking forward to some rim rattling action here. We're here with Kiwan. Man, how does it feel to be here today to, to play in this game? I feel great, man. I'm just ready to work tonight. All right. What, 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 tell me about your season. How did the season go for you? It's going good. We lost in the first round, but we was working all season. Sad to lose, but when you got the uh, call, you know that you're gonna be in this All Star game. How'd that make you feel? I was happy, man. I knew it. I knew it was gonna come. But I was happy. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Tell us about your plans. Uh, you know, after high school. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, but got a few colleges. to take me. I'll finish the school year. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Maybe we'll see you to the end of the game, collecting that MVP award. All right, we're here back, Greater Hartford Pro-Am, All-Star Basketball Classic. We're here down representing Windsor. I had to go get a Windsor player as a Windsor alum, but how does it feel today to be here today to, to be playing this game? Well, it feels good to represent my school since I was the only senior on my team, and I had to just put on for my school. When you got the call, you know, to even play in the game, how did that, you know, make you feel? It felt good that people recognized my game and I was able to put on for my school. Tell us about your season. How did the season go for you this year? Well, we lost in the third round. I expected it to end better than that, but I think we did a good job as a team. We were very young. Right, so that's what's up, you know. So uh, tell us about your plans after uh, Windsor High. Well, I'm planning to go prep school. I got a couple interests from um, Believe Prep and Chester Academy, so I'm looking at those two schools. All right, well, definitely. We wish you the best of luck. Maybe we'll be here at the end of the game collecting that MVP award. All right, again, back Greater Hartford Pro Am. We got the uh, early action here, early interviews, interviewing all the different players who are here, selected to be here today. So uh, how does it feel to be here today to uh, represent your school, Weaver High School, here in the All-Star Game? Uh, it's a great feeling because there's not many other players from other schools here, so it's great. It's a great feeling. I feel. Yeah, it's a great feeling to represent Weaver. So when you got the call, you know, like, I mean, I think you might have the largest collection of one school here, but when you got the call, how did you feel when you got the call that you going to be in the All-Star game? Um, I just was happy that I get to go out and show fans something. I was excited. I never thought, it was, I never thought I'd get that call. Just get a, uh, another chance to represent for the last time. So if going with that right there, the last time, what's your plans um, after uh, high school? Uh, I'm going to a prep school. Okay. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Undecided still. All right. But well, we're here with the with the trio from Weaver. Thank you. Maybe we'll be at the end of the game. One of you will be standing with me for the uh, MVP award. But thank you. All right, Brandon Frame here, rocking with the pregame show. Here, interviewing the different players here for the Greater Hartford Pro-Am. 
I-84, I-91 Basketball All-Star Classic. All right, we got the players from Hill House, state champs in the building. All right, so they earned this. All right, but uh, when you got the call to be in the game, how did that make you feel? I feel like an honor. I actually playing with my friend Joe. I've been playing since we was in the seventh grade, but I feel like an honor playing against good guys from old grade New Haven and Hartford area, so it feels good. It's a pleasure to be recognized in the state. One of the top players just come out here and play hard. So as a two-time defending, you know, two-time state champ, tell us about that. Like, what, what is that, how, that type of pride, and how does that make you feel inside as you know you got two titles by you in high school? I feel like, like I'm a legend, basically, and, 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 and who else, basically. Um, but having a hill else on your chest and winning two times back to back is a, it's a real great experience, basically. It's just great to know that I went out and played my hardest every game and we came out on top. And so, plans for next year? Can you tell us about where you're looking to go? Um, I have a couple colleges. I have um, NYIT, Alberta, Northern React, and that's it, basically. Um, my post grad year for go to prep school. All right, gentlemen, well, thank you for joining me for the pregame. I wish y'all the best, and maybe we'll be here at the end collecting an MVP trophy. All right, this is Brandon Frame here, pregame for the Greater Hartford Pro-Am, I-91, I-84, Basketball Classic, and we'll be back getting ready for this action. Live action from Trinity College, boys game. This is going to be a good game right here. The four, the big man, Keith Hoffman, number 25, 84. I like watching him this season. So they're going to win it in the building. Donovan Austin. Austin from Windsor. He's a. Uh, Fast These guys are going to easily put up over 100 points a day. Yeah, I expect them at a 120. Maybe. Casper Zach, Hill House in the building. Hill House. McNair to Fletcher. Over to Stevenson. Stevenson lets him drive. Two points. Six nothing. I eighty four. Wow. Weaver, wow. Weaver in the building. Out of Weaver. Some of the best footwork you'll probably see from a high school student anyway. High school basketball player anyway. This guy moves his feet, quick feet, good footwork in the post. Reminds me of Tim Duncan a little bit. Live action here, you know how we see some dunks today. See some crossovers. I hope nobody falls, but I still want to see some crossovers. Yeah, just don't get yourself caught out. I want to see crossovers too, but uh, just stay off the earth. But I think we're going to see a lot of threes, a lot of quick moves to the basket, and definitely some dunks. The layup line was real exciting. A lot of high rises, especially on that uh, high in the fourth quarter. Pass. 
Two-time Class L L State Champions, Hill House, Joey Cash. Douglas, Tyler Douglas, representing I-91 in the building. Stevenson, Shaker Hart in the building. McNair with the miss. Douglas, oh, Austin. Austin picking up the ball. Four said not in my house. Austin gave a lot of slow point guards hits this season coming out of Windsor. Joey Cass, two time state champion, Hill House, in the building. We got full court man to man pickup. I like that. They coming out here to win the game. They want to play. I spoke to Coach Jackson at the beginning of the game. He said he was going to push the tempo. He has a lot of guards versus a lot of big, 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 small, small fours and power fours. So he's going to push the tempo. Run and try to run these guys out of the gym. He says he's going to press and play tough, we'll play tough defense all game. So let's see. Pressure from Ledger off oh, Cash, Joey Cash pushing the ball. Joey Cash Up to Major Roman. Oh, two points from New London. Headed to Yale on a football scholarship. Wow, okay. Headed to Yale. Scholar athlete. Scholarship, definitely. Headed to Yale. He, he wanted to put everybody in there. in the season with Sacred Heart. I was very impressed with the way he gets to the basket. So let's see if he, um... There you go, big Reliable. Up the boys. He's like, you know how they're going to try to do all this fancy stuff, yeah. making these rebounds and these points. He's trying to cut this MVP. Big Reliable, Jaquan Williams. Yeah, that guy Stevenson. He's got six points early. Sacred Heart. Stevenson uh, did a lot of work this year for Sacred Heart. I was very impressed with him. Like I said, he gets to that basket. Jaquan Williams. Jaquan Williams. Six quick points. He's just chalking up the points right now. Points. To a five. Thank you. Eight points. Eight points. Eight points. Eight points. With the cookies. Jaquan Williams is the man for I-91 right now. Trying to cut into that small lead. I-84 is definitely balling. We shot the pro am legend in the building, Austin Andrew Sienna. 2012. We got two more to Weaver Greats in for I-91. Brothers, Shaylin Martin and JC Martin. Second 
Chaylen Martin, the sign of Sacred Heart. Here's a three ball putting his face right there though, but that's okay. Brother JC get him back for that, right to the basket. Tackled by the referee. Short this year, uh, yeah. He's Harford, the semifinals, actually, the quarterfinals. I'll take that back. Missing a couple key players that game. Playing hard, just came a little short. You have to take your hat off. Seventeen, sixteen, here in the first half, first quarter. Two minutes, 53, seven, 53 seconds left. They start to fall a little more. Harkins with the finger roll. What a roll. Greenwich. I remember him from uh, earlier this year when we were calling the game. He was knocking down all the three point shots. Sharp shooter. Diop said nah. Diop said nah. We're not having that in here. Diop, straight out of Africa. Sacred Heart was 
rude and eligible this year by the CIAC. But he's an official baller. Play some D in the All Star game, D.I. East Harper, Austin, not four. Austin, the four. Four. He will definitely put you in there. Come slide with me. Oh. He's just putting together your fella. Harper High in the building. Diaz representing the Owls. Looking for JC Martin to get to the basket there. So action starting to pick up a little more. Nice pass. Easy two. Nice dunk down. He wants smooth he wants south, smooth south smooth Windsor. South Windsor. South Windsor. Played football uh -oh. with his dad at Weaver uh -oh. High School. Uh -oh. Let's just take it to the right. Violation. All right, Dia. Let's get let's get our, let's get our focus together, Dia. JC going the up the offensive rebounds. JC playing real big on that post down on that block. In the glass. He he it. Drives. Nope. Get out of here. Nice pass. controlling that paint down there. He is controlling that paint down there, G.I. You can dunk on me once, but you won't dunk on me twice, he said. D.I. with 12 blocks in the first quarter. I 91 up by four in the end of the first quarter. 27 23. Let's see what I 84 can do in the second quarter. Yes. Right now, Diop has, has that middle sewn up. There's nothing going on in that paint right now with Diop down there. He did, he did get dunked on. He did get dunked on, though, Brandon, but he shut everything else down. But he did get dunked on. He got dunked. Got put in. We're not going to forget that right there. No, we're not. We got to get some replay. But I love how you come back and uh, shut replay. the middle down. Uh, next, uh, next, next year, we're going to have replay. And we here at Trinity College, Greater Harvard Pro Am High School Basketball All Star Game, sponsored by Evelyn. Shout out Evelyn. Go get your kicks, your gear out there, Evelyn. Shout out Access TV, Stan McFarley doing his thing, providing great television for the Greater Harvard community and abroad. Shout out me, because I got a TV show on Access TV. So make sure you tune in. Building Minds Ever Channel 4. Check us out, get that good content. Stevenson with the rock for two. No good. Joey Cass. Two time said, get that messy, ugly stuff out of there, huh? Don't only bring real stuff to me. Look like he got put in a headlock in the air right there. The referees missed that one, but it's an all star game. It's an all star game, yeah. No fouls out here. Unless you're bleeding. Good pass. He said no more. Don't come me one, but you're not gonna dunk on me no more. JC is controlling the floor. Controlling the floor out here. Off the screen. Let's see the two-hand game. Gotta roll with it. 
with him. Privet from Middletown. Privet plays hard. We got, we got some talent here in the gym today, and it's just an honor to be here again. We got a lot of talent in the gym. Thank you, Stan, for asking me to push the top ten in Diop like, may get MVP just on his defense, just on you know, block He might have an Anthony Davis type of game. He, he has a triple-double with no score point. He has about seven points. blocks already. And he just got in the game. I mean, he just got another block. You can dunk on me once, but I'm gonna block the next seven shots. That's impressive to me. That's something you should never see in the All Star game. An air ball from the free throw line. But it happens. You got a football player that's going to yell. Maybe he's been in that weight room. Muscles a little tight. Get back to the next one. Diop is taking over this game right now with the drop step dunk down there. Blocking shots, showing a little bit of offense. I mean, that middle belongs to Diop down there. He's blocking everything, another block. He's blocking everything. You can't get anything. There's nothing going on on Diop's block tonight. Nothing. It is silent night on Diop's block tonight. He has been a difference maker for I-91 on the defensive end. We said earlier, he got dunked on, banged on, whatever you want to call it. The next 10 shots will be blocked. Practice. Basic basketball drills. Pass the rocket cut and you'll get it back. If you have a point guard out there like JC, he's gonna get you the rock. But he will definitely stay out of that paint too with Diop down there. University. Be watching some of those football games next year. You gotta be catching on that yell football field. 39-28 is the score. Six minutes left. Fletcher from Ledger High School. Casper Zach bringing the ball down the court. With the cookies is, is, is I-84. Okay, 
Two now because D out the game. Because while he's in the game, it's a thing called Gnaw going on. When there's nothing going on, that thing D out the game. Let's see what I 84 can do. Close this, close this lead up, this gap up right now. And now, now. Both teams doing a lot of subbing, trying to get it together. Seconds. Jared Simmons with a three. It's off. Pull away a little bit here. 
and then Luke going in and playing great defense. Back. Like I said, I spoke to Reggie, Coach Reggie Hatcher before the game. He said he was going to uh, try to run him out of the gym because they got a bunch of bigs over on I-84. His team is loaded with a bunch of guards. And he was going to uh, use his speed over size. Looks like it's working. First half, see what goes down in the second half. We're gonna cut to our sponsors. We gotta pay the bills. We gotta pay the bills. Shout out to the Donnell Diggs Martin Foundation, one of the sponsors here. But like you said, barn burner, great atmosphere for basketball tonight with the All Star game. And we'll be back for that third quarter. Okay. My name is Jay Stan McCauley, and uh, I do business as Light Source Productions. I provide professional services in the area of strategic video communications. Uh, first, what we do is we help you craft your message uh, using what I call the rule of the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We do event documentation, uh, content acquisition, full-scale productions, um, editing, and, of course, distribution uh, through our social media television network. And with social media, uh, video is more important now than it has ever been. Uh, whether you're talking big business, small business, nonprofit, church, or just an individual. Uh, let's say you, you know you you plan a, a, you're planning an event, a wedding, whatever the case may be. But but let's say a big event, uh, but no video. And you spend all this time, all these hours, uh, to put this event on, and maybe a hundred, two hundred people attend the event. 
But more important than that is that thousands could attend by watching it on social media. But of course, you don't think about this until after the event is over. You can't afford not to capture it for social media. And despite what people think, I am affordable. Give me a call. Let's plan your next video project and share it with the world on my social media television network. I promise you that you will have the attention of one person, me. These are the monsters of the road. Ever drive alongside a tractor trailer in the rain? Scary. You're hoping they don't change lanes. Now they see you, now they don't. This monster can crush you in an instant. They may be insured for millions, but you're not thinking of that in a dangerous situation. I'm attorney Jeffrey Dresden. Have an accident, you know what to do. Because this is what we do. 24-7, 11 22. Here we're back, second half action. Greater Hartford Pro-Am. High school basketball all-star game. I-91 up 10. Fletcher from Ledger bringing the ball up. Jenkins looking what he's gonna do to get to the rack. Didn't really work out for him too well. Harkins with the ball, Hawkins. Over to Privet with the block. Ortiz, Buckley High School. Ortiz had a real good season this year for Buckley High School. Big shout out to the ladies. Great action. A real underrated player. But he put up the school. Sweet 16 
One in the lead. Lufo in the building with the miss. Major Roman with the rebound. Parkins with the steal over the privet. Pushing the ball. Middletown with the pull up. No good. Major Roman with another rebound. Parkins out here hustling. McNair for two. And it's good from Ledger High School. The concentration on that finish round there. Ortiz for three, no good. 53-50, I-91 over I-84. 84 has made a comeback. Shout out Access TV, bringing you today's programming. I'm Brandon Frame. Ronnell Monts. Bringing you the play by play. For the Greater Harbor Pro M Boys High School Basketball All Star Game. At Trinity College. Ortiz for two points. Buckley High School. Stevenson with the pull up. No good. Major Roman cleaned up on the board. Fletcher from Ledger. And it's got three points. 53 55 is getting close. We had a 10 point lead for I 91. It's down to two. I think I 91 may need a few subs. The game is totally different with the opposite of the game. Fine, Harper High drive. Harper High with two points. Two. Referees let them play, and they done tied it up. Ortiz with the two. Stick it up a little bit. Two point ball game. Let's see it. Let's see if I-91 can extend that lead back to that 10 point lead that they had earlier. I-84 just chopped all into that lead. With good defense and consistent bucket making. Let's see what I-91 does, especially with Diop back in the game, Mr. Nall. That's my nickname for him, Mr. Nall. But there's nothing going on in that paint right now. Jordan video or Michael Jordan's highlights. Highlight. Good pass. Diop with the putback. Diop is making his presence felt on the offensive and defensive end. Three point whole different game with the certain players are in the game for 91. Diop, Taylor Martin, JC Martin. Different tempo. It's an all-star game, so you'll get a different kind of flow. You'll see a lot of talent out here. 
Tie 91 squad is a little different when this lineup is on the Five. I hit him the timeout. Like I said earlier, Brandon is a totally different team out there. When you got the Martin brothers out there and Diop on that floor. Mr. Null. Four minutes left here in the third quarter. 63-58, I-91 up over I-84. Finish that 
bucket, make a couple moves, and finish that play. Five seconds up here in the third quarter. 67-63. I-91 up. JC Martin with the ball up top. Too many missed dunks out here. Looking like the NBA dunk contest. Everybody missing dunks. I think we're going to have an exciting fourth quarter. It's a four point game. It's a little sloppy at the moment, but I think they're going to. Somebody wants to win the game. I-94 is definitely shooting some boys. They stayed in this game. They were a full point game. They were down by 10 early. An unselfish play like that. It's got them with their two points. End of the third quarter, 69-67. I-91 up by two points. I think the fourth quarter is going to be a doozy. We're going to cut to a break. We're going to be back. We're going to see what this fourth quarter looks like. Oh, yeah. Now, some insurance companies brag that they could be on the scene of the accident right after it happens. Whose interest do they have in mind? Yours? I don't think so. You may be one paycheck between you and the street. You have three children working in another town. You need that car and you need it fast. If you have an accident, call me, Attorney Jeffrey Dressler, 24-7, 1122. Casperzak, I think. I think um, I-91 team. Shaylin Martin has, has done a little bit of work. I-91, we um, Off of I-84. Maybe Major Roman. He hasn't been in the game in a while. He's been cool quiet the last couple of quarters. But he did dunk on Diop. Yeah. And then uh, Fletcher has been doing pretty good too. Yeah, a lot of deep, a lot of deep threes. One of the the, 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 the brothers from East Hartford. Um, the four. The four. Me personally, if I ninety one wins this game, my vote is going to. Uh, you know I'm a Weaver Beaver. I'm not gonna be biased right now. Though. My vote is gonna go to Di. The way he shut that middle down. If they win, I have to give it to him. I like, I like those options. I told you, one of the twins, one of the, the brothers. The brothers, Keith Hartford, the four. Well, honestly, now that I think about it, if we're going to 
If I had any fool wins, I would think I would give this a smooth. A lot of big plays, a lot of stuff, big boy plays. Tough. He's probably been the most consistent on uh, I-8014. We shot the program legend in the building now from Yelly. Three times all defensive player. Greater Harlem Program Summer League. Come down to the wire. Big turn of events here. Oh, 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 Hawkins knew it too. His face was like, oh damn. Oh man. Why me? Access TV. We will definitely see that again. Replay. Big boy right there. How tall is he? 6'11. They call him seven feet, but I'm gonna say about six ten. Oh no! You played for Sacred Heart this year? He didn't play this year. CIAC ruled him ineligible. I don't have a little story on that. He's supposed to be came from Africa. They ruled him ineligible. He played next year. Sit out this season. I'm not sure who he's going to play next year. But he is a talent. I like, I, I like to see the other players just shaking hands no matter right. what team they on. Because exactly. that sportsmanship, that brotherhood is a beautiful thing. Exactly. Both teams That's what this is all about. That sportsmanship. Yep. That's all part of it. But you see that a lot when you have an all-star game. Both teams talking to each other, laughing, joking. It's not as serious as a real game. But when you get down to this point of the game, right here, three point game, four quarter, the teams want to win. Here we go. He's awkward. He's on the porch. Diop had about 10 blocks today. Major Roman. Back to back air ball. These guys are getting tired out here. Another block. I really want to know what the official number of blocks that he has tonight. And I think, you know, too, like, it's like the players aren't even used to playing with somebody that's seven feet. You know, unless you go out to AAU, 
just around the state, ain't no seven, ain't six, ain't even like six nine walking around. Exactly. You know? exactly. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say seven feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get about six eight and a half with long arms. But he blocks shots like he's a seven footer. Yeah. That wingspan. Yes. Another block by Dion. Another one. And another one. Mr. In my Dong. DJ Khaled, but and another one. Another one. We the best. Mr. Dong. Dion. This is where it gets good. Seconds left. Fletcher is definitely making his argument for the MVP of this game tonight. Said no. Access denied. 
A lot of traffic in there. Roman big physical Yale Bulldog. Future football player for Yale. He wasn't having it. Put Diop on the line, make him earn it. Maybe knock down the first one. Up top, giving the wiggles, trying to give him the, 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 the wiggles. Uh, what's the call, Mr. Official? Just let it go. Let what's it the go. Call, Mr. Official, it's an all star game. We just the call. We called the foul before the dunk. Joey Cass, two points. 85, 84, I 84 up by one. I think Joey Casper Zach is saying, are we gonna win the game? I think it's turn up time for that two time state champion. If this somebody know how to win. He's a winner. He's a winner. Two time class double L. Double L! We're not talking about L or L or L. We're talking about double L. Big boys. Shout out to coaching staff over there at Hill House, man. They, they holding it down, building the young men, winning state titles, but what they're doing is building men. So exactly. shout them out. Exactly. Always important with these young, these young fellas. Got to teach them how to become men. Everything else will come second. Look, man, I told you it's Mr. Naw down there, and you're not getting nothing in that paint down there. Good move. I got a bed in the weight room. 88, 85. Just under three minutes to go. Three point game, I-91 up by three. Two 
three-point game. Diaz, Harper High School at the free throw line can make it a one-point game. Could knock it down, two-point game. I got anyone got to be smart with the ball. Get easy buckets. Not like that. Two minutes, 26 seconds, two point game. It's going down in a major way here at Trinity College, Greater Hartford, Pro Am, High School, All Star game, I 91 against I 84. Casper Zach is a winner and he said his team is going to win. He said, I ain't losing. I ain't used to losing. I don't lose. So he take he turned it up a little bit. He knows how to finish games. Point game, I-91 up by four. I don't know, it looks like, I don't know if I-84 is gonna be able to to win it, I don't know, they don't look, they don't have that assertiveness on the court right now. Not with those type of turnovers like that, nope. Just give the game right over to I-91 and you can keep turning the rock over like that. Bill House to the rack. That's that, you gotta have to lay it up with the left hand. They see playing like a safety back there. Oh. Not what you wanted because that stops the clock. That allows for them to get some shots with no time off the clock. Double bonus. I need four shooting two for the rest of the way. Know who the MVP is if they win the game? I'm going to go to either Diablo or Mr. Cass right here, Millhouse. Game on that play right there, though. But honestly, Brandon, I would have to give it to the Diablo. You have double digit blocks. That's impressive. He's still out here diving the floor. He's out here playing strong. Point game. Stevenson at the free throw line to tie it. Sacred Heart, they were winners too. Winners Some champions too. down there too. Undefeated season. Undefeated season by Sacred Heart. That's impressive. 92, 92. 
One minute left in the game. This is what we wanted. This is what we came here to see, ladies and gentlemen. We spoke about it at the opener. A lot of excitement. One minute Both left. Both teams got winners on their team. I think it's a one and one. Roman, why is Major Roman not in the game? Put Major Roman in the game. You need Major Roman in there. Well, you know what I like about games like this? That means somebody gonna win and somebody gonna lose. When it's not like a two-point game or three-point and somebody gotta win, somebody gotta lose. Sometimes you don't want overtime. Big free throws. By the four from East Hartford. Let's see if he can double finish. Double L runner up. Yes, sir. Let's see if he can finish the deal and knock down these two shots right here to give him the lead with 25 seconds left. Oh, no. Well, he has a chance to tie it up, though. Let's see. Let's see what kind of blood he got going through his veins. Is ice water going through his veins? Muscles tight. Which one? There we go. Tight game. Tight 25 game. seconds tight left, game. ladies and gentlemen. It's 25 seconds Coach left in the game. It's an all star game. We're not calling no timeout. I'm not setting anything up. We're going to ball out right now. They're going to go for the win? 12 seconds left. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's see what we're going to do. Wow. That's what we do at Weaver High School. We make buckets at the end of the game. That's what we do. They need to put some more time back on the clock. They need to put some more time on the clock. That's what we do. Does that, make him the, does that make him the MVP if they win? Of course that makes him the MVP. Well, no. When you have Diop on your team with 13, between 13 and 15 blocks, and you win, that's the MVP right there. If they win. But that was an excellent, that was a great take to the basket for Shaylin. I think they need to put some more time on the clock. Time it's went off. It's our game. It's late. Put, put two seconds left on the clock. The kids to bed. Two seconds left on the clock. The referees are not budging. They don't want another second on the clock right now. The referees want to go home. It's Friday night. They want to go home and sleep in on Saturday morning. Anything can happen. This game is not over. Nice patience by Smoot right there, like he was under control right there. He wasn't going to get that five second ball. Two point seven. 
Not at all. Here you go. I-91. Great game. Hatchet. Great game. Down to Shout the out. Two point game. Shout out I-91 getting a W. Definitely. We're gonna see down and go talk to the MVP. Exactly. See who they call out. Exactly. My choice is Diop, but we'll see what happens. Alright, I like Casper Zach. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. Oh okay. yeah. Brandon Frame here, post-game interview for the MVP, here with the Martin Twins. Um, how does it feel, you know, you know, it's actually like an annual thing, because when we do the thing in the fall, you guys are here, two years in a row, so this is like an annual thing, but how does it feel to be MVP? Um, it feels good to go out uh, with my last All-Star game in Hartford with uh, MVP. It just feels good to do it for the city. Yeah, it was great. It was a lot of good talent out here, and for both of us to be chosen, that's great. How do you how do you play in games like this? So like it kind of don't turn up until like the fourth quarter. Before that, it's kind of like a lot of fun in games. How do you keep the momentum, or how do you turn it on and off like that? Uh, you just gotta learn how to get the feel with uh, all different players all over the state. And um, in the fourth quarter, it was just winning time. Yeah, it's mostly just picking up the defense, picking up the defense. Uh, defensive intensity shouldn't be that hard. So that's all we did. You say how, how? What about that that last drive? Tell me, what were you thinking right there? Um, just to get the bucket to win. I know that my team needed it and I just got it done. Well, congratulations to both of you. It's a great way to end a high school career. We wish you the best and, and, and congratulations. Brandon Frame coming to you live from the Eblins, Greater Hartford Pro-Am High School Basketball All-Star Game. We're closing out today. We had two amazing games. We had the girls game finished awesome. We had the boys game finished on a game winning layup by Shaylin Martin. Just, you know, shout out Access TV. Thank you to Greater Harvard Program for putting on such an event. Thank you, Evelyn's, for being such a huge sponsor. And we'll be back next year bringing you another, some more great action. High school basketball here in Connecticut is great and here to stay. Brandon Frame signing off. My name is Jay Stan McCauley, and uh, I do business as Light Source Productions. I provide professional services in the area of strategic video communications. Uh, first, what we do is we help you craft your message uh, using what I call the rule of the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We do event documentation, uh, content acquisition, full-scale productions, um, editing, and of course, distribution uh, through our social media television network. And with social media, uh, video is more important now than it has ever been. Uh, whether you're talking big business, small business, nonprofit, church, or just an individual. Uh, let's say you, you know you you plan a, a, you're planning an event, a wedding, whatever the case may be. But but let's say a big event, uh, but no video. And you spent all this time, all these hours, uh, to put this event on, and maybe a hundred, two hundred people attend the event. But more important than that is that thousands could attend by watching it on social media. But of course, you don't think about this until after the event is over. You can't afford not to capture it for social media. And despite what people think, I am affordable. Give me a call. Let's plan your next video project and share it with the world on my social media television network. I promise you that you will have the attention of one person, me.